This video overviews how to connect to the L6A license plate reader camera. Connecting to the camera requires a computer with an Ethernet port or a mobile phone with a camera and access to Wi-Fi. Before connecting to the camera, ensure that it is properly installed. For comprehensive installation instructions, refer to the installation video. Accessing the web UI requires a desktop or mobile web browser. The camera must be powered through the PoE port or the 24-volt DC power conductors provided by the wiring harness. Allow the camera a minimum of one minute to boot after connecting the Ethernet cable or the 24-volt DC power supply. This is essential for a smooth and successful startup. The following steps demonstrate how to connect to the camera using a mobile phone. Access the Wi-Fi QR code on the device information label or inside the configuration panel. Ensure the camera is powered, the camera is physically accessible, and the Wi-Fi is enabled on the mobile phone. Place the QR code in the camera frame and scan, then tap the link. The mobile phone automatically connects to the camera and disconnects any existing Wi-Fi connection used by the mobile phone. Open a web browser on the mobile phone and navigate to the following address. As a result, the web UI setup wizard or login page appears. That completes the steps required to connect from a mobile phone. The following steps illustrate how to connect to the camera using a computer. The camera's power over Ethernet port is set for DHCP by default. If a DHCP server is not found on the connected network, a default IPv4 auto configuration address is assigned to the camera. Ensure the camera is powered on and that a computer with a web browser is connected to the same local Ethernet network as the camera. To determine the IP address of the camera, see the installation guide. For more information on IPv4 auto configuration and ARP slash ping method, see the installation guide. Note that the IP address will be displayed in Unity, and Unity will automatically discover the camera on the local network. Once the IP address is obtained, open a web browser and enter the IP address of the camera into the address bar, as demonstrated here. As a result, the camera setup wizard or the login page appears. For more information on how to connect the camera from a mobile phone or a computer, see the installation guide. The following steps demonstrate camera setup, which consists of creating login credentials, selecting an endpoint, and setting the camera's GPS location. Note that camera setup can be performed either before or after hardware installation. The L6A camera supports the following endpoints illustrated here. Note that the L6A camera and the Avigilon Unity video software support only Vehicle Manager Enterprise. Vehicle Manager is not supported. For more information about the Avigilon Unity video software, see the installation guide. The next segment illustrates how to log in to the web UI. It may be accessed using a web browser running on a desktop computer or on a mobile phone. For first-time users, create a unique username and a secure password to log in. Then, Enter the username and password and click here. If account credentials have already been created, enter the username and password and select Sign In. As a result, one of the following pages will appear. If the camera setup has not yet been performed, the Setup Wizard page appears. Note that this page also appears if the camera has been factory reset. If the camera setup has been performed, the Live View page appears. To complete the Setup Wizard page, ensure access to the following information below. The desired endpoint server will receive detections from the camera, the account credentials of the endpoint server, the address and the location where the camera will be installed. If the camera is being configured off-site before installation, select Off-site pre-installation. If the camera is being configured at the installation site, select On-site installation. Next, click or tap Start. To view a previously completed section, click Edit. Then follow the on-screen instructions on the L6A installation checklist. Next, click or tap here. As a result, the Live View page of the web UI loads to allow for camera aiming. The next segment demonstrates steps for aiming the camera. The camera is aimed from the Live View page in the web UI. Proper aiming is essential for camera accuracy and overall performance. For more information on the aiming of the camera, see the installation guide. Prior to aiming the camera, ensure it is installed and physically accessible and that the steps in the setup wizard have been performed. Finally, 
ensure that a test vehicle or active traffic is passing through the capture area. In the Live View tab, select Full Screen on one of the video feeds. Select the Settings icon and enable the Aiming Overlay. Slightly loosen the adjustable mount on the camera to allow pivoting. Adjust the camera to center the image frame on the desired capture area, while keeping the video frame level with the ground. Adjust the zoom slider and the focus controls as needed. Next, monitor license plates as they pass through the image frame. The license plates should fit approximately inside the center of the aiming reticule as they pass. Monitor the calibration sidebar and continue to adjust the camera until several correct scans with green values are generated. Illustrated here is the LPR video feed. The calibration sidebar provides LPR detection and performance statistics and focus to assist in aiming and adjusting the camera for better license plate readability. When satisfied with the camera's positioning and aim, tighten the adjustable mount to lock it into place. That completes the steps required to aim the camera.